Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 where I'm excited to take a look at the new Japan update because I've always wanted to tour Japan and check out all the prefectures. I want to do a full prefecture tour and learn about all the places and see them sort of firsthand, not really, but I mean as, as good as I can get them. Uh, this Obviously the scenery in here is going to be much better than I've ever seen before. Uh, it'll probably have flaws nevertheless, but it'll be, again, better than I've ever seen it before. So we will take it and I'm planning to go through the prefectures one by one. So it's got to be multiple videos, but I'll edit them so that uh, it's just the parts where I'm talking and uh, I'll be uh, consulting Wikipedia carefully to see all the details about the prefectures. Hopefully we'll learn something about them. Now the Tour of Japan that they have built in here doesn't cover like most of the new airports, the handcrafted airports that they've added or the scenery areas. If you go from Nagasaki to Haneda, assuming there's a straight line path, uh, that'll cover Nagasaki, that's a new airport, Tokushima, that's a city uh, that they have photogrammetry for, Yokohama and Tokyo. Uh, but that misses uh, Shimojishima, uh, Kerama, uh, Suwanosejima, um, Hachijojima, um, Utsunomiya, Sendai, and Kushiro. So that's a lot of special areas that they said were part of the update that this flight won't even cover. So let's not actually do that flight. What I'm going to do is fly from Shimojishima, which is the southernmost uh, location that they have added. And we need to, uh, well, let me pick the flight location first and then change the timing. Here's Shimojishima. You can see why we're starting there. And I'll pick a plane that is appropriate for our flight. We are covering Okinawa Prefecture today, which is, well, or the Ryukyu Islands. And uh, that's the southernmost prefecture. And then we'll just work our way up. Because after all, Japan is thankfully mostly a straight line up, right? I mean, uh, it's not that hard to uh, plan a prefecture tour in this case. It's not like the 50 states where, all, where they're all sort of in a block. So this is a special airport they added, a handcrafted airport, Karama is. Uh, Kadena Air Base is not. Uh, this is Okinawa Island right here. And I'll have a, a full navigation support thanks to an external uh, map app and Suwano Jishima, Suwano Sejima, I've never heard of that one before. Uh, they had these handcraft airports down here instead of the airports like o Osaka it might be a much more important airport. Uh, we've got lots of points of interest though that we'll have to hit. Uh, they did add Nagasaki Airport so that's nice but there are a lot of cities that they did not handcraft or photogrammetry that might have done with it. Osaka being the number one. So we'll see how Osaka looks without that. But okay, so our flight plan is we're departing from here and we'll just fly over those. Uh, so obviously we're not going to be using the Skyhawk and that will cover the Riku Islands and Okinawa. And we are going to use, let's see how the, it, it could be the King Air, it could be the TBM. I like the TBM better because it's faster. Uh, so let's see. Two hours. Um, I think that's okay. Yeah, okay. So that will cover the this part of it. This is the longest part of it. After that, uh, each prefecture, we got we gotta go with smaller aircraft that'll work much better with it. Okay, so Otherwise, we're having live weather, and we'll see how that's working these days. And let us proceed. So this is our first airport, Shimojishima. They said it was handcrafted. So a lot of this flight will be um, high up, and then we'll dip down for the bits that are of interest, because it's mostly water. Not the best takeoff ever as I'm talking away. Huh, a little bit of a different paving here. Okay, well actually there's some detail over here. Let's take a look. Maybe I should have started from a ramp. 
Okay, so that's the handcrafted airport at Shimojishima. Uh, I, so uh, you can see the canal in the middle. This side with the runway is Shimojishima, so Shimoji Island. And this side is Irabu Island, the two separate islands. Whenever you see Shima or Jima, that just means island. Okay, so this is the bridge over to Miyako Island. We're about 200 miles southwest of Okinawa right now. So apparently, according to Wiki, this is uh, this has some of the most beautiful spots in Japan. This seems to be the main city over here. So, Miyako Island is the largest of the Miyako Islands. We actually, uh, because it was further south, we we're missing out on Tarama Island, which I've heard of. But I don't remember in what context. So apparently the Eastern Cape is particularly beautiful. Let me see if I can find where that is. There's uh, another little island to the north. Uh, actually, let me turn towards that. We're headed back towards the city. But if we hang a... Uh, Hang a sharp right here. We'll go to the north end and then we'll go to the eastern cape. So at the north end of Miyako Island, there is a bridge to another island called Ikema Island. So we'll take a look at whether that bridge is present. There's a lot on Wiki, well not a lot, but there's some interesting details about the local culture here. They have their own creation myths and uh, festivals and such. Oh, there's something interesting going on here. Oh, there's some uh, wind turbines. Okay, so this is the bridge over to Ikema Island. That is, that is pretty nice looking. Okay, let's head down to the Eastern Cape though. And then we'll proceed on to the next islands. Little island over there. Well, if there's live weather, it's certainly a good day to fly. So you can see the Eastern Cape right there. That's uh, Higashi Henazaki. So East Hena Cape is basically what that translates to. And Higashi means east. And so that's apparently the the nice spot, scenic spot. Oh, just as I said, the weather was good. Uh, it's gotten a little bit darker around here, but okay. We do have a lot of clouds around. But yeah, you can see why this might be a nice spot. some boats there okay well let's get back on track and we'll head on to the next island so there's a uh, Karama Airport which is just south of Okinawa and then Okinawa Island itself well the clouds pretty much effectively cover Miyako Miyakojima you can still see the Cape though <laughs> okay we're approaching uh, Krama Airport now and it's basically on an island with a national park. I guess this is another one of those airports that are supposed to be landing challenge kind of airports and there are some new landing challenges with the Japan update uh, so I haven't taken a look at those yet but I think I'll try a landing at uh, Krama Airport. I don't think it's gonna be too hard but we'll see. We'll take a look at it. I could do it for break. It's been a long trip across lots and lots of water so some action. Um, we can see some islands up front, barely, right there. 
apologies to all the little islands I might have missed. Um, there aren't actually any islands between Miyakojima and Kurama, but there's one off to the side called Kumejima. Uh, Kumejima? Kume? I, I don't know what the... There's this... Uh, it's sort of a bitonal thing with Japanese. There's a Tanaki and there's... Uh, there's, there's some si uh, islands off to the side that we might be missing. But after Kurama, we'll be headed on to Okinawa. The airport at Kurama I don't think is on Kurama Island. It's on uh, Fukaji Island, which is to the west. And there's sort of an island group right next to Kurama. There's a Kuba Island, Yakabi Island, Aka Island. Garuma Island, Zamami Island, and um, I don't even know if the island that Karama National Park is on is called Karama Island. We can see that island group right there, and Karama is the big one right here, and Fukaji is the one where the airport is on, and there are all the other ones. Taking a look outside, that's how they look in in the flesh, if you will. You can see the airport right there. I'm gonna swing by the main island and then we'll fly over the airport and then come around and land. You can sort of see Okinawa in the distance right there. The wiki page for the for the National Park doesn't say a whole lot. <laughs> it says that the National Park was established in 2014 actually. I think there's supposed to be corals and stuff like that because the day of establishment was Coral Day. Sango is coral. The main uh, town on this island is called Tokashiki. And it's behind the, this hill right here. You can sort of see it there. That is a tiny little town. It's one of those interesting places to live. Oh, we've got some turbulence around the hill. That is, yeah, that would be an interesting place. Tokashiki, everyone. Okay, let's take a look at the airport. There's some boats in the water. Okay, so handcrafted airport here. It is another town. You can see right in front of us. All I see is Aka Port Terminal, so I don't know what to call that town. Again, we'll just fly over and we're going to see what it looks like. Seems like the facilities are on the right here. Nice rocks. Okay. Just a uh, general overview. And uh, actually I'll come around in this direction so we can park at the at the buildings there. That that wind direction thingy is often not what I expect. Anyway, I don't think it'll be a problem, but I, I just want this direction for the parking spot. So I don't have to turn around on the runway or anything. Uh, no, actually we're landing right. I mean, the, the true airspeed is 90 knots and the ground speed is 72. So yeah, this is right. Uh, the wind is actually coming in from the north and pushing south, pushing against us. So that's good. Get back there over there. Uh, too much talking. Okay, well, we ended up in the right 
place somehow. Mini wind socks. Oh, guys! Oh, okay. You know, they'll be standing right there. That looks pretty good. Well, what we can see of the building right now. Oh, we can see writing on the building. That's always a key thing. And there's the fuel. Let me see if I can fuel up at the fuel. Oh, God. That guy's coming at me. That guy's coming at me. Oh, now it's a game of chicken. Uh oh, the... Well, fine. <laughs> we'll pretend that my wing did not hit him. Okay. Jet A1. Uh, let's just top it off. Okay, you don't like that? Or... Fill her up, but I got an achievement for fill her up. CO2 emissions. I don't know what the consumption in CO2 emissions section is supposed to tell me, but it doesn't. Okay, uh, parking brake on for now. Okay, stop. Aural warning. Okay. Okay. Well, I might have parked too close, considering I can't reverse. I don't think. So this is what it looks like. Okay, I believe it. This is this is a handcrafted airport. Um, I don't know. Does it rev Oh, it does have reverser. Okay, hold on. I've never used the reverser. Uh oh. Oh no. I think I've busted it. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna start a new flight from here. I obviously did that wrong. Uh, I'll start with the full fuel. So we'll take off from uh, Karama Airport and we're gonna take a look at Okinawa next. Okay, I've taken a little bit of a break and now we are proceeding on to the second part of the journey. I've changed the plan somewhat in that we're going to land at Tanagashima, Japan. That's actually where Japan's main launch site is for rockets. So I want to take a good look at that. So I'll be sending into that anyway. So might as well land there instead of landing at Kanoya, which is what I originally planned. So we're not going to go exactly this path. We're going to fall on these islands instead, and then hit that custom handcrafted airport, and then land over there. Okay, uh, so at Kurama it says 20 knots, and boy when I was landing it felt like it. So let us proceed. I fully fueled it just so that we can leisurely take a good look at things at low altitude without worrying about fuel. And not that it should be a problem anyway, but... I heard thunder. Um, I totally heard thunder. It doesn't seem that dark out, but anyway, interesting times. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was lightning. Okay, I hear thunder and lightning, but the clouds don't match. This totally a storm, that's why it was so hard to land. But eh, it's a little bit wicked trying to take off from this side also, but I think we'll be fine. Nice tower. Okay, gear up. Oh, and lightning. Thunder and lightning. Real world weather right now, so maybe they should be generating more clouds. Interesting fluctuations in indicated airspeed. That's Okinawa up ahead. Whoa, thunder. Super distinct thunder. So the town we're headed for right now is called Itoman. There's a smaller town to the right that I don't know the name of. 
but uh, this area right here should be Itoman. Maybe we should get a little bit higher. Nice tropicalish waters. And Itoman is sort of the southern end of all this. And is there something over there? Oh, trees. Uh, and then there's Tomi Gusuku. Tomi Gusuku. Tomi Gusuku? Maybe Tomi Gusuku. And then we see an airport there, which might have been nice to have as a handcrafted airport because that's the main airport on Okinawa. That's Naha Airport for Naha City, which is the largest city on Okinawa. And that's what's in front of us right now. Let's take a look at this airport because I don't know if they've done things right over here, to be honest. You see the uh, runway here, but then we see some photo scenery and what looks to be a runway over there. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just... I don't know. Doesn't this look... Oh well, it's not being used anymore. But it definitely shouldn't be green. Whatever is happening here, this should not be green. This is definitely was once a runway and I guess it's not used anymore because it's got the X's on. Or maybe... I don't know. This is uh, clearly landfill sort of runway. But yeah. We can definitely say that it's not supposed to be green. So Naha Airport, at least it has a tower. And yeah, there's a little plane flying there too. Your standard sort of autogen buildings, of course. But looking very nice. I mean, you know, still better. There's supposed to be a castle somewhere. They said that they have made some ca custom castles, but I don't know if around here is one of them. There's a Shunjo Castle. They don't know if I could find it in the middle of all this. Mm. I see this. There's this roadway here, which is fancy, and that's a prominent roadway on the map too. So if I point in this direction, and slow down a lot. Ooh, thunder still. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, it's actually there. That's looking good. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but there it is. That's that's basically... That's the castle, yeah. So I'll have to check how it really looks, but that is convincing. So we'll do another pass. Uh, I think I've lost the castle. Oh, there it is. There it is. Jeez. With all the trees, it's so hard to find it. So there we go. Well, that's one site we can check off the list. So Shurijo Castle. Shurijo. I think it's just Shuri Castle. Well, I, I, Joe, I think, is Castle. Okinawa looks beautiful, of course. Okay, we're headed south. I don't want to go south. We're on the... That's the eastern side of the island there. There's another castle in the northern part of the island uh, near Nakagusuku, Nakagusuku Castle. We'll see if we can find that. That airport over there is Ginawan. Maybe around there or somewhere around here is Nakagusuku Castle. Let's see, can I find this castle? I think it should be up here. I think, I don't know. Feels like that ought to be a, the castle area. But it seems like the castles are all, or maybe that area there. And in this case, they didn't do a good job of it. 
because I can't see any other location. Somewhere up that hill. The problem with the castles is they're all nestled in in the midst of trees, so it's hard to tell. But it should be around here somewhere. So one castle, yes. Other castle, no. I think. Unless I'm just not looking at the right place for Naka Gusuku Castle. Anyway, we'll move on. We are pretty close to Kadena Air Force Base. Uh, that's up there. We're pointing at it. And there's a Camp Foster to the left somewhere. I think the town of Okinawa is around here. But it's not as big as, uh, which might call it down south, Naha. So this could end Air Force Base or Air Base. Yeah, so uh, what's in front of us is Okinawa City. There's another castle. We'll see if we can get Katsuren Castle. We'll see if that's there. That one it will be easier to locate because we're not in the middle of forest land here. Should be easier to spot. Oh, it is surrounded by trees. Gosh darn it. <laughs> uh, okay, somewhere in the midst of those trees. I think I see it. Somewhere around here is a castle. Uh, I don't know, the first castle was good. This one, I think they just covered it in trees. <laughs> I can't see the castle castle. I don't know, maybe some of these buildings are supposed to be the castle. But I'm not feeling it. The southern island that's uh, down here is Hamahiga Island. And the upper island here is Miyagi Island. So we'll take a look at Miyagi Island. You can see there's plenty more of Okinawa up north. I mean, it keeps stretching on and on and on. We haven't, we haven't even gotten through one third of Okinawa. It's crazy. Okinawa stretches back there. It's all back there. There's this peninsula here that's sticking out that we're, we've been following and then uh, that's Miyagi Island in front of us right now. Seems to have some storage tanks or something that haven't been turned into 3D here. Yeah, I think these are supposed to be storage tanks. The tank farm. Oh, actually the beach is not on Miyagi Island. It's that separate island right there that's called EK Island. I don't know, this, uh, the western side here is supposed to be a beach. I think they've put too many trees. There's EK Island. And we can see some beach here, but then they sort of filled the beach with trees here. Well, there's some beach left, but not a whole lot. Okay, anyway. Yeah, I think they've probably overdone the trees right there. Oh, look, we've got some tiny almost islands here, I think. I don't know, whatever that green stuff is. It's not on the map, though. I think they put trees on that. <laughs> yep, the game is sure obsessed with trees. So, Gushikawa here, and then up the coast is Ishikawa. Which, on a naive translation, would be Stone River. It's interesting what Google Maps decides to put on the map very prominently. Got Uruma City Ishikawa Gymnastics. 
that's apparently somewhere or no uh, no over here over here I don't know well oh more thunder or bad other things well there's a little river for Ishikawa so okay so Uruma City Ishikawa Gymnastics Let's see, what's the distance from southern tip to northern tip of Okinawa? Uh, 66 miles. Roughly 100 kilometers. Oh, nice winding highway down there, right along the coast. Really sunny right now. And this is Nago City in front of us. There's apparently something called Orion Happy Park somewhere up there in the woods. Hmm. There's a Yambaru National Park. That occupies most of the top part of Okinawa. Okay, for the remainder of Okinawa, I think we're gonna start climbing. And we're going to take in some of the other islands at high altitude until we get to Suwano Sejima, which is one of the handcrafted airports. So yeah, Okinawa stretching behind us. Can't even see the end of it. And this is the Yambaru National Park. So, the last of Okinawa. Still some nice beaches here. Okay, so we've got one of the larger islands here. Well, there's, uh, this southern island is called Kakaromajima. And then uh, the island further on is Amami Oshima which is Amami Big Island, so it is big. We're just taking a higher view of it at 18,000 feet. There's a town on it called Naze. Overall, we've still got 92 nautical miles until, uh, I believe that's Suwano Sejima, which is the custom handcrafted airport that they added. Okay, I think that's our island up ahead. That right there. So let me slow down and descend a little bit more. Okay, well, I think we can see the runway there. And I guess we can sort of tell why this is an interesting island. Suwanose Jima. Okay, uh, so, well, rather volcanic island. Uh, there's oddly smooth parts of the mountain here, but then properly rough patches. I don't know lava dynamics, so maybe that's just how it is. Very nice. Got some sort of a cliffy protrusion here. That's a bit of weird mesh right there though. I don't think it should be floating like that. These cliffs are okay. Interesting rocks on uh, at one end of the runway. We see a pier here. And uh, well there's a town. But this is like on the opposite side of the island from where it says Toshima on my map, but maybe we can call this Toshima. So that's the custom handcrafted runway. And I suppose they place that pier and those rocks and all. And uh, this over here too.
I don't know, they sure do like these, uh, these kinds of island runways in the game, don't they? I mean, scenic, obviously. But... There could be other things. Not the hardest thing to do. Not the most challenging... ...stuff that we could ask for. So, Tanagashima will be 86 nautical miles from here. So, bye-bye, Suwano Sejima. Okay, the island in front of us is Yakushima. It's a fairly big, roundish island, and just beyond it is Tanagashima with the Japanese launch site. So, we're starting our descent. I don't think there's any uh, outstanding feature on Yakushima. And technically Yakushima is in Kagoshima Prefecture. So it's not part of Okinawa Prefecture. So we have reached the next prefecture. <laughs> and when we land we will be basically beginning our exploration of Kagoshima. And I'll continue that in the next video. So, Yakushima has a population of 13,000. Okinawa, of course, had more than a million. Uh, and I, I seem to recall something about cedars. Was that Yakushima? Well, it's famous for its lush ve vegetation, according to Wiki. And you can see that. Lots of logging, though. But yes, there's... Uh, lot of cedar and uh, Japanese cedar known as Yakusugi so there's Yakushima and the Japanese cedar is known as Yakusugi and there's a particular Jomon Sugi which is uh, a particularly old cedar it's supposed to be dating to 2300 years ago but well, I doubt we'll be spotting it from here. I think I saw a variety show once where they tried to visit it, the Jomon Cedar. So we are here, it is uh, Yakushima, and you can see Tanagashima there. And then beyond that is just uh, the main part of Kagoshima, and that's on Kyushu Island. Okay, I thought the space complex was further north but uh, it is actually on the southern tip of the island so let's turn off autopilot here okay so this is the, uh, the space center and the museum not the launch site this is just like Kennedy Space Center the visitor complex kind of thing So that's that part. And then up the beach is the actual launch site. I think in uh, Realism Overhaul and Kerbal Space Program, they put the launch site at the location of the runway on Tanagashima. But it's actually at the southern end here. But I'm not sure. There is uh, th that's the ramp you can see. Uh, and the launch pad there's two launch pads and then this is probably the, the the integration facility and so they truck it out to there wonder what kind of crawler there is but yeah that's the launch site Ta Tanagashima Space Center okay let me head to the airport now I am satisfied There's a runway right there. That is apparently not the runway we're looking for, but there's definitely a runway right there. Or there ought to be. Hmm, interesting. Tanagashima, not as hilly as I thought it was from the scenes of the launches. A lot flatter than I thought it was. 
Okay, there's the runway. So I'll just fly over once. This is not a handcrafted airport. Got what's clearly a line going here. That's interesting. Sort of bumpy terrain to put that, whatever it is. Feel like whatever it is should probably be flat, and it's probably something raised up. Airport itself, eh, it's okay. Okay, we'll come in from that, the direction of that line, so. Hey, it says Tanegashima down there. I got it written out in letters. English letters. <laughs> Instead of the kanji. Oh. Okay, 14 knot crosswind. Interesting crosswind. Yeah, not quite on, but not bad. Could be worse. Okay, we have landed. Whoa, a little bit squirrely. More, more rudder, more rudder. Thank you. Also, nose wheel steering would be nice. Okay, we have landed at Tanagashima Airport. Oh my god, there's somebody else. Hello, Grand Caravan. Hi. I did not actually ask for clearance, so. And that is what the buildings look like when they're not handcrafted. Actually, that, that, that one to the tower doesn't look too bad, huh? I mean, it looks distinct. Can I, can I taxi under there? No, I don't really fit. Oh well, we'll park it here. Alright, parking brake on. So, we have arrived, and next time I will endeavor to see more of Japan. Into Kyushu. So, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.